EWBUD is a organization that's part of a national organization that identifies developing communities around the world and works with them to alleviate social, economic, and political issues in whatever way that we can. So this assessment trip, we spent all of our time in Impero and collected more detailed data on things like water quality, the distance people travel to get water, the frequency that they collect water and use it, and the different sources that they use for each water need. The goals of this assessment trip were to get as clear and comprehensive an understanding of the severity of need so that we can begin to assess how we should progress with the project. So do you know how, how much volume they can get before it goes dry? Uh, as of now, I can, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming maybe uh, 10, 15 buckets. Okay. Per day. Hey. Per day. What, so what does the village require per day? Like how many buckets do they need? This village has uh, over 80 households. Okay. So we expect each average for a household is three, four buckets per day. We've been investigating how we can supply water to this community over the course of the next few years. This could include a borehole well, a shallow well, rainwater distribution system, or some kind of filter that utilizes the local river. As a team of engineers and students, we went over to Malawi, but we had to work with the local substance farmers who have the actual demand. Um, we worked with experts from a local university, with officials from the Ministry of Water, which is a governmental organization, and with business professionals such as well drillers and uh, tank suppliers. So even though we go with some knowledge, we rely on their expertise and their knowledge to actually finish the project. At the university, we can understand a technical problem and we can receive a lot of practice on how to solve that problem. The university is extremely diligent at um, enabling students to do this, but the difference that uh, traveling with EWB UD has made is in revealing how difficult the problem is beyond the technical realm. One thing that I realized personally that transcended all those people and that cut through all the technical knowledge and all the professional experience that we came with was everyone's gratitude for our presence there. Malawi is known as the warm heart of Africa and that was extremely evident throughout our entire trip. This is Engineer to Without Borders, and this is what we do.